Welcome to Manatech Stringworks. Please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. Well, I thought for this episode on the channel, we'd talk about some tools that I use here on my guitar workbench, and I'm sure you've seen on my workbench uh, over the last, well, 100 plus videos. <laughs> and I thought today I'd talk about this one. So this is the DeWalt Gyroscopic Drill Driver. This is one of my favorite gadgets. <laughs> so you can see you can have it in a straight position like that. You just press the button and now you've got it in a pistol grip. Now what's cool about this, aside from that, <laughs> is it's gyroscopic, meaning when I press the button and I want to go clockwise or counterclockwise or left or right, I press down and then I just turn my wrist and same thing the other way and the more I turn the faster it goes so it takes a little getting used to but it's super cool when you start to understand and when you get used to it so let me demonstrate it a little better so of course one of the best uses for using any drill or driver in the guitar tech workshop is to remove pickguard screws <laughs> and the myriad of different screws that are on a guitar. So what's nice with this gyroscopic drill is that the collet here, you just push your bit in and it just locks in. You don't have to pull the sleeve back or anything to get it out. You push it up to get it out, but put it in, locks right in place, convenient light. So I like to use it in the upright position. I find I can get nice control, use my finger, seat the bit in the screw, turn it on, and we want to loosen it, so we're going to go counterclockwise, or to the left. To tighten, we go to the right. So, easy as that. You have clutch settings. I usually have it around 6 or 7, and that way I can make sure that... I'm tightening a screw, it's not going to strip the screw head. There we go. It clutched out. Of course we can use it in a pistol grip formation or format. <laughs> Same thing. Counterclockwise, turn to the left, turn to the right to tighten. So either way, depends on what you're doing. I find sometimes drilling is easier this way. Of course we can drill with this. I've got these hex hex bit drills, drill bits. This is a 1 16th, which I use a lot. So again, you just have to push it in. And then obviously you can drill in either way. Sometimes I like drilling like this in the upright position, but most of the time I think for drilling I'll do it in the pistol sort of grip position like that. Either way, it works really well, super convenient. So this DeWalt gyroscopic drill driver comes in a kit. So the kit has a nice bag, has a charger, and it has another battery. So there are two batteries that come with. So pretty simple. Plug it in and it'll charge. A little cover for the battery. It also has a little bit holder on top. So you can keep a couple of bits up here. I usually don't have them in because I'm using it all the time on the bench. But it's convenient if you're on the job site somewhere. A nice little feature of this drill as well is it has a power indicator light right here on top. So I'm showing two bars out of three. That's really handy. So you know exactly how much juice is left in these batteries, which lasts quite a while here on the workbench, right? So I like that feature. 
and the clutch numbering is very big and easy to see. Again, put it on max if you're drilling. And I like to keep it around 6-7 when I'm driving screws into a guitar. But yeah, pretty cool. So it also has this lockout feature here. So you know when you as soon as you press on the trigger, it starts the motor. But if you want to lock it so it didn't accidentally, let's say you threw it in your you throw it in your tool bag, and you didn't want it to be on, you just flip that little lever right here and now it's locked. So you can throw it in your tool bag and not worry about you know, discharging your battery before you get to your job site <laughs> or when you want to use it. Of course one of the great uses of this driver as well is as a string winder. So using this adapter, I believe this is a Dunlop adapter, this will do most guitar tuning machines and it also has a slot for large bass tuning machines. So put that in and away you go. Again you can use it in the pistol format too. <laughs> So that works really efficiently as well. We need to get some strings off pretty quick. <laughs> so, like I said, this adapter has a slot for large bass tuning machines. So I can get in here, tighten, loosen. works really well for that. Of course it'll work on guitar tuning machines as well. And it'll fit most sizes. That's pretty much the limit. <laughs> but did a pretty good job. And I'll use that when I want to remove strings really quick usually. Otherwise I'll use like a, a hand winder. So that's the uh, DeWalt gyroscopic driver. Uh, I like using it every day <laughs> on my bench. It's practical, it's got tons of different uses, and it's strong enough and powerful enough to do the job here on the workbench for driving screws and drilling holes. You know, it comes with two batteries, a nice little travel case. So if you have a chance to try one out at the home center, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere like that, uh, go ahead, give them a whirl. I'm not sponsored by DeWalt or anything. I'm just letting you know the type of tool that I like using on my workbench, and maybe you'll find out you like using this as well. So once again, leave some comments. You know, tell me what you think. If you've used these before, you have another drill driver, power tool that you like to use on the workbench. Love to hear from you. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday season. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.